finally got my swing out tool setter complete. You zoom in, I made a new arm, lighter weight arm, a little smaller. I moved the pivot point up near the front corner of the column so I could get rid of the bend in the arm. I went to stepper control and uh, made covers for the motor and for the belts and pulleys. Let me zoom back. Works so much smoother, so much nicer than it did before. Uh, G code will call for a tool, of course. We'll call it tool four in this case. Arm swings out. Hit cycle start. And if there was G code loaded, once it measures the tool and the arm goes back, it just takes off and starts cutting but uh, don't really have any G-code doing this manually. And so uh, let's take a look at this real quick. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, tool 4 showing 0 .4816, 0 .4816. Show you that it's the same tool, but we're just going to call it a different number this time and see how close it comes. We'll call it tool 8 this time. 0.4816 the first time. See what it measures this time. Yeah, it's not a hundred percent. It's not dead on every time. There's a little, a little bit of give and take. Uh, usually, it's inside of a half bow. Now this one's even better than that. 0.4815. We got one tenth difference that time. As I said, it's. Uh, it's usually inside of a half thou. On a rare occasion it measures a little more, but I discovered that, because uh, I do use flood coolant, I discovered that I really need to make sure the tip of the tool and the top of that touch plate are not wet because the moisture will uh, make an electrical contact before the tool actually touches. So it uh, measures tools long when they're wet. Uh, so I just give it a shot of air as the tool's coming down, make sure, but it's working out really nice.